Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. This is Jeremiah's J-Man, Manero, J-Man Speaks. Welcome to 18 Fridays, coming to you live. That's right, live and direct from our global headquarters here in Rochester, New York. Ask the experts anything meaningful Fridays. And today we're talking about how to stand out from the crowd, whether you're doing video, whether you're doing social media, whatever else you might be doing in your life. We want you to stand out from the crowd. Uh, refuse to be different. Stop trying to fit in when you were born to stand out. So that, that's our theme for today, and we have a very special guest uh, coming to us live and direct from the ATL, a, a.k.a. Hotlanta. We have Kwame Thomas. Come on now. What's up, man? Good. What's going on? What's up? What's up? How you doing? I'm doing good. So thanks, thanks for being with us today on 18 Fridays. I know... Um, didn't give you much notice, just kind of threw you into the mix, but that's, that's how heroes are born. Right. I mean, it's like, so just say yes. So thank, thanks for being with us today. I appreciate the, um, the opportunity. So why don't you, let's just start with introductions. So for those who may not, may not know you, we're going to put uh, your website in the comments, quamination.com. So you could get a little flavor of what we're talking about here. Um, cause it, I think when some people hear animation, they automatically think like, like cartoons. Right. right. So right. maybe just give us a, a little bit of your background, who you've worked with. Go ahead and drop them names so that they they can they can realize who they're dealing with right here. Go ahead. Okay. So yeah, my name is Kwame Thomas, owner of Kwame Nation. Um, we, so with uh, animation that I've done, I've uh, worked with different companies that range from HGTV to the Weather Channel, Home Depot. And one of the latest ones is uh, the Atlanta Hawks. The Hawks, <laughs> baby! Atlanta Hawks is like... Yeah, so I mean, yeah, like, like J-Ben said, it, the, the clients range as far as, you know, the type of work I do. Uh, I mean, none of it's really been cartoons. I, I'm trying to actually work on my own little cartoon now. But, yeah, a lot of it's more of like commercial work, um, letting these companies stand out. So, yeah, that's that's been the, the bulk of my work is really just, you know, commercial work um actually working with turner studios it's been a lot of um, work for like march madness so like you know the the logos for the basketball teams like flipping yeah. around during you know in between like i i'll be watching the game and like ah, i worked on that logo my family is kind of like all right just sit down and be quiet let me try to watch the game but, <laughs> yeah you know so yeah it, the, the yeah. work is it varies a lot you know outside of just cartoons oh that that's cool man it's just pop that virtual collar you know what i'm saying like it's like you know like the hawks hgtv you know i'm watching march madness i did that logo right there but it's it, it's cool now you're kind of like stepping into kind of you have more freedom to and and creative types because i could we both are like if you if you love video if you love kind of creating something from nothing like you love that freedom and i, I think like you had corporate clients in the past where i i, I imagine I'm not going to speak on your behalf, but for me, it's like stifles my creativity, right? Like you got to do this. Here it is. Make this right. So it can be like that sometimes, you know, I mean, and so you do kind of have to figure out how you can work your creativity, creativity in there. But right. yes, you know, they, they kind of have a, a set way that they're doing something like they, you know, they might have all their creators already develop a look and you, you know, your, your skill set is to be able to go in there and continue that look that they've already established. So, I mean, yeah, the creativity might not be um, as wide open as it is when you're like working with, you know, your own independent client. But, you know, I mean, they, they got some pretty creative people. So, you know, it's not like you're doing something, anything too bland. You know? Right. No, no, I, I get it. Um, <laughs> you're probably like, Jay, these are my corporate clients, man. Like, what are you doing? I can't, I can't say anything. He's like, stick to the talking points here. Uh, <laughs> But so like you, you're, you're branching in real estate. You're, you're one of our sponsors for an event that we have coming up. Uh, we're going to hashtag real con 21 real estate, Atlanta live tech conference, June 10th, save the date. Look at, if you're not from Atlanta, it's a hub. It's a direct flight for almost everybody to get to folks. So come from out of town, you know, you know, you want to get out of town. You know, you want to see people at live and in person. Uh, and, and this is going to be, a conference like you've never seen myself, Sabrina Lowry, uh, Kwame is working on, on some of the branding. Wait, wait to see what he's putting together, but you're going to branch into real estate here. So let's talk about a little bit how, like, 
what that process is like because I feel so often that agents are I'm gonna say it brainwashed right they're brainwashed by by the broker or the manager like here's our company branding right here's what the company does and boy you better just tote that company flag and colors and do everything we say because we're the boss and I, I think that agents don't realize you are your own business do you work for a broker yes but we are our own business and we all need to develop our own brand. So what is that process like in the beginning? Like if you meet with somebody and I'm like, they're like, well, and you say like, what's your brand? What makes you different? And they're like, ah, crickets. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what makes me different. Help me out here. Help me out. So how do you help to identify like what somebody's brand is or like what the, what the creative is going to be like? Cause you, for what we're doing with with the conference like you met with sabrina met with me and then you kind of had you put together an idea and I, I i like the storyboard idea because me i'm like a just do a video mm, i don't know if i like it just do another video like redo it and then and then figure it out from there uh, but i do like the storyboard idea so tell us about that definitely so yeah trying to get into somebody's head to figure out you know what makes them you know stand out you know, it's really trying to figure out their story. You know, what 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 journey have they come on, and what may you know? Because everybody's story is different. You know, right. you know, we're all trying to be successful, and we're trying to, you know, pump our business up. But it's like we come from different backgrounds, and we have different you know, different stories. So you know, really just tapping into what what it is that made you unique. You know, what what life did you live, and you know what path you went down, just really trying to figure that out and then being able to bring that into us, um, you know, to a storyboard, like you said, you know, and, and letting those the high, high points in that story really stick out in the, um, in the narrative that you're trying to tell. So, yeah, it's really just like, you know, sitting with the, the client, um, figuring out, you know, what makes them different from their own unique story, their background, and then trying to bring that out in a um, storyboard so that, you know, we can make it shine. Yeah, I, I like that because it's, you know, people aren't going to hire us because, and this is one of the problems with real estate, in my opinion, I constantly talk about this, but everybody's so egocentric about like, I sold this amount, you know, I, my company does this. And nowadays, especially the modern consumer, their concern is more of like you, your personal story, right? What, what you can do for them and that you actually care. Right. What what's your story? And then can I buy into that story? Because then I'm buying right. into you and I'm buying into your your uh, your identity, and your core values. Right. So how does the animation work? Because I, I, I put your your uh, your website in, in the comments. But yes. it, like what's that? Pro like it's so cool. I'm, I think I'm going to just screen share in a second just to show everybody what we're talking about. But how long? Because. You know, people think, like, let's say I did a promo video for somebody that was 45 seconds long, right? For an event mm -hmm. that I was doing for them. And they're like, right. can you do this and then change that and then say <laughs> this instead? I'm like, that took me two hours. <laughs> to get to that point. <laughs> to to, to yeah. four, 45 seconds. Like, sure, <laughs> I'd be happy to, but then I'm done. You know, and then, I, I, and yes. then as an added bonus, I sent them like closed captions burned in. To the you know like you, when you burn it into the video itself and they're like okay. oh the the closed captions covers this up uh, oh. when this pops up on the screen and i'm like <laughs> <laughs> yeah and, uh, it's, um, the the creative process and working with clients is you know it's a it's a back and forth collaborative thing that you definitely have to be very patient um because you're trying to make sure that they have something that they're pleased with you know, and, you know, as the artist, you know, you definitely have the way that you think things should look. But, um, but yeah, in the end, you have to, you have to make sure that this is something that the client is happy with and that meets their needs. So the, the animation process for me, you know, it, you know, yeah, definitely starts off with really trying to make sure I understand exactly what they're asking for. You know, what's the purpose of this animation? What, you know, in the end, what is it supposed to achieve? Right. And so with that, you know, you know, then I can jump in, you know, once that's been established, now I can jump into all these different tools that we have, like, you know, After Effects and, 
in Maya for 3D or Blender for 3D. Like those, those are some of the um, 3D programs that I've been messing around with. Um, Maya, that's you know, that's been my tool of the trade. But lately, this um, Blender program, you know, and it's if you want to check out 3D programs, Blender's free. So <laughs> you know, that's, Blender, that's what, like uh, like the the off like the kitchen appliance. Yeah, like the, yeah, the kitchen okay. appliance. <laughs> so yeah, Blender is a, it's a free 3D program, but it's very powerful. But um, but yeah, the industry standard uses Maya. But um, you know, using these tools, you know, I'm able to you know get into um the pro uh, the computer, take a storyboard that you know we established with the client, you know, and just come up with some really cool cool graphics like what you see here now. <laughs> but that, that's the stuff that I worked on with the Hawks. See, this is all I'm doing custom stuff as we go. Watch this. I'm gonna make him a round circle, but boom, just like me. And then I'll make that a little bit bigger so we're the same oh, size because I like let me make sure this is the same size. Okay, there we go. Boop. There we go. Let's go. <laughs> so yeah, so here's these are some of the pieces that I've worked on. You know, I just wanted to, you know, put that out there real quick so when people come to the site, they see, you know, it's it's about the motion, it's about the energy that you bring. So this is one of the things that helps, you know animation you know to bring a story and make it stand out you know it's like it's moving it's fast it's it's attention grabbing so you know with these um some of you know, these are some of the companies that i worked with in the past um, you know, like that spider-man yeah. what's this <laughs> oh yeah that was like one of the um the tbs the little they don't i don't think they use that anymore the little half smiley thing but you know like that that was uh something that they would it was like they would try to change it compared to what whatever was on the the TV, the screen. So, like, that was the yeah, Spider Man promo. It's like, all right, get the little guy to shoot around and jump around oh. like Spider Man. So, <laughs> that was pretty cool. Like, and tell me, so, that, what's, that, that, what's that, the car yeah. here? What's that one? I like that one. That car one is the Rocket League. It's a it's a video game. Okay. Rocket, I think it's called Rocket League. I, I haven't played it myself, but yeah, yeah. This, this is one of those games. It's like you, you kid, it's almost like soccer, but with race cars. Okay. You kind of knock the ball That's into cool. the goal with race yeah. cars. So, that was like a promo for their E League. Um, down in right here in Atlanta, like they got their own little elite thing going on. So, yeah, that that was that one was pretty cool because they you know they supplied us with all the stuff and all I got to do was go in and animate. So that that's the I love animating. So, so do do you think that? Because a lot of things like let's say you know I do messenger bots right, and people are like, well I want to do it myself. Okay, here's the program I use. Right. See you in a little while. And I even created a course for like thirty five bucks. That teaches them how to do it and right. then they call me like yo jay could you could you do this messenger bot for me because it, it's tough you know it's, what i mean like you know, like I, mean, I, I heard myself you know stay in your lane you know just, if this is what you do here i'll hand it to you and let you do your thing i right. mean of course you, know, you, you, you let people explore it but hey what you love doing it'll show in the end <laughs> we got leticia says she's like free quality tools so with with blender.com is it kind of like do they just have templates in there and so blender's like a it's a it's a it's like you create stuff from scratch like you know you you create a ball and then from that ball you can pull things out extrude create a character oh, i i got like, i got the wrong i got the wrong site so this took me to actual blenders what <laughs> oh, oh you know what it's, it's probably uh dot org let me see what is it dot org yes let me just do a google search they're they're, they're on yeah dot org would it they're, be like blender 3d video if no, i do blender.org that's this straight up blender.org it'll take you there yeah because it, it's like a it's a organization yeah, yeah. that wanted to be able to give people the tools to create you know high quality animation and right, graphics right. you know so they the you know they pour money to people donate money to you know keep the program going yeah so like an op open source kind of a thing right 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 yeah and cool. I, I mean i'm about to do this I, right I now Hold just kind of got into it I, one of my friends like he, he's always kind of been pushing it and i lately i got on it and i'm like man this is, this is pretty powerful stuff <laughs> So yeah, it's, and it, there's a plenty of um, online tutorials on nice. you know if people want to get into streams. it. But I mean, there, there is a little bit of a learning curve because that was one of the things that kind of kept me away from getting into it early on. It's just like, you know, I already know how to use this other program. We'll just stick with this. But um, but yeah, it's it's pretty cool. This is cool, and it, and yeah, I mean, you know what I, I like to tell people sometimes when you're trying something new. You know, like my latest is I, I'm into these like sales funnel pages or Kartra 
or Kajabi, you know, depending what people are using. And think of it like a hobby because it's like it's what I do in my spare time, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like I'm going to figure this out. And then I'll watch like three, four, ten, you know, like when I was using the program that I used to live stream now called Ecamm. Man, that yeah. learning curve in the beginning was like pretty steep. Yeah. But there was a cool guy I found from the UK. There's always somebody from the UK that's got some kind of <laughs> they're ahead of it, man. They got some kind of tutorial for you that's short. You can find them, you know, but it looks like uh, Blender has uh, in-house. They do a weekly live stream. So that's cool. Yeah, yeah they, they got a pretty large community as far as people that really like every year they do an animation, you know, that they put out their sales that just kind of highlight some of the new features that they put into their program. You know, it's like, so yeah, I mean, I'm able to use this type of program to, you know, be able to serve my clients. You know, so yeah, it's, it's, um, it's a pretty cool program. Very powerful. And that's just some of the stuff it does. It does a whole lot more. Oh, you can buy movies in here and everything. I don't know what that is. What's on sale? We got to make money some kind of way. Oh, they got the merch. Don't forget about the merch, folks. <laughs> okay. I got you. We'll come back over here. Can't send me to an, uh, like, I'm like, oh, wait, we're live streaming. I'm here, like, <laughs> surfing the web. But like, oh, yeah, oh, well, this looks great, man. So if, if, if you guys are watching live, you, again, you can, it's called Ask the Experts Anything Meaningful. Friday, um, what's funny is that in, initially it was Ask the Experts Anything Meaningful Monday. But I wanted to do it on Fridays. No, it's Ask the Experts Anything Monday is what it was. Okay. Ask, and then I, I'm like, I'm just going to do it on Fridays, but it'll be funny. It'll be Ask the Experts Anything Monday on Friday. Because uh, <laughs> Fridays are better days for this. <laughs> if I'm gonna, right when you talk about video, I guess it's, that's a, a, a good point to discuss with everybody. Is like when you're doing something to be consistent, to mm. be committed to the cause, if you will, because you're you're not going to see results in the beginning. Mm. Maybe, maybe you get lucky and like one video, Oh, I went viral. I got 2000 views. <laughs> like maybe, but I wouldn't bank on it. Um, if you're looking at YouTube and some of the other platforms, like you got to be on there 90 days consistently to see any kind of a, a return or result. So what's, what's, uh, we got Jeffrey. So we got people from all over watching right now. Um, Jeffrey Scott Stanton's in the NYC. I think Letitia's in Chicago. Uh, how do you stay consistent? You know, like it, when, when people talk about grinding, like, you're grinding it out. For me, I feel like grinding is you keep doing what you're doing without seeing results. That's grinding, right? right. <laughs> you keep on. Yeah, and like, it comes through, yeah. Yeah. I, mean, yeah you, I, I feel like, you know, like, you know, they always say, you know, if you're passionate about what you do, that that's one way to help you, you know, get through that kind of thing. I mean, for me, I know that's that's there's that's truth in that because I love doing animation. It's like even you know in the between time where projects are slow, you know, it's like you know I still want to you know I do my own little thing, you know. But yeah, it's like having some kind of consistent practice where like a lot of the artists that I, I read about their work, they they'll say like every day they do one little thing that contributes to their skill set. You know? So yeah, having some kind of consistent, even if it's small practice. That allows you to keep growing you know that's that's um, what i've found to be very beneficial as far as increasing that you know ability to do what it is that you're doing yeah like i um now i'm not live streaming well i guess i couldn't say i'm live streaming. i'm not live streaming every day but i i add to my story on social media 10 times a day and that's mm. little 15 second video clips where I'm practicing video any way you look at it right i'm talking right. i'm looking right. at the camera i'm doing you know and and if, if you want to, you know, they, they say you want to hone your craft, you got to do 10,000 hours of it uh, to be mm. really to, to reach your fullest potential. And I'm trying, folks, 10,000 hours of video. We're almost there. <laughs> I, sh I wish I wish I could have kept track. But uh, but I think also, um, you know, finding your niche, because I, I, I feel like that's that's what you did. Right. And for me, it's like in video, I do more live video than almost anybody they know and i know more about the programs the apps and the equipment that you need to do that so at, at what point did you because there's right it's like forget about fork in the road it's like <laughs> there's an octopus in the road I, I got all these paths i can go which way 
which way when it comes to video, how are you going to niche it down and say, look, this is what I want. This is the avenue I want to go with video. Um, and, and I'm going to dive deep. Like how, what, what made you pick animation? So yeah, the niche, I, I feel like I'm almost still trying to find my niche with animation. Right. Cause like, anime, like you well, said, animation like, is right. But I, you're trying to say within animation. Oh yeah. Oh, like, okay. So yeah, just animation itself. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Like, Finding animation was like, let's see, I'm trying to go back to before. Oh, well, I mean, it was the movies. Like, I, mean, I grew up watching a lot of cartoons and stuff, like, you know, then that, just movies in general. Yeah. So, and then even my brother, that, you know, he would play video games and we'd just watch him. And then, you know, I'd be waiting for the, the part where the, the, you know, the animation kicks in and showing the story. You know, right, so, the story. Yeah, you know, I've always been attracted to that part of animation. So, trying to figure, I'm like, how do they do this stuff? You know, like, how do they make these characters move around like they're you know so my first year in college you know they, they're telling us well, we're supposed to be doing these foundational classes but I, you know i just went straight to the computer lab and i started hey i'm you know, paying to go here i want to know how to do what i'm doing so yeah I, it was like a really a, a strong passion to learn how to do what i saw on tv like how, to, how are they doing this you know and so from that you know it's just always been that that kind of grind to figure it out myself and, and learn the process um so yeah, that that's that's helped me throughout school and even into my career. It's like just wanting to 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 really kind of ha- capture that professional level of animation, you know, not just just doing it so that it's like I'm I'm an animator. No, it's like oh, what the big guys are doing. I want something that looks comparable to that, and, you know. So even even in this little cartoon that I'm I'm working on now, which is yeah. on my website, Nora. It's like one of the links on there. Um, I saw it's it. Like I wanted to look like something at Pixar, you know, because Pixar is like, oh, everybody you know the Pixar. They got their high quality stuff. So, you know, it's got to it's got to either look top quality or even better. Something's got to you know really capture and make it feel like, oh yeah, this is worth watching. So, yeah, I, I'm I'm just really passionate about making something that looks quality and then, you know and really letting people enjoy themselves. You know? so, yeah. So, like a couple things, let me highlight, folks. If you're listening, because I, I love hearing other people's stories. And it's like, at an early age, he discovered, right? You discovered what you loved, like really where you were like, damn, I love this. How can I make money doing it? Right? I think that's yeah, always, yeah. right? And, and oh, it, was, yeah. it, it was the same thing for me, man. Like eight years old, every, people who know my story, I was the ring announcer at my elementary school circus. Okay? No. Eight years old. Like, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Kirk Road Circus. <laughs> uh, the audience, I'm like. This is great. I don't know how I'm going to make money doing this someday. I don't know how, right? I, but I didn't know that initially. Like I went to school for like tooling and machining and then I was going to be, my dad was like, pick up a trade because he knew that I hated school. You know, I just I didn't love school. And not everybody loves school. It's not for everybody, you know, and, and, and finding a way. Like I loved being able to entertain or, you know, be be in front of people and make a difference in their lives. And so that's, I'm, I'm thankful enough, same thing to, be able to be in an industry where I can do that both in real estate and also the speaking side. Um, but then the, the second thing you said, which I really want to highlight, it's like, if you're going to do something, be the best at it. Oh yeah, definitely. Right. Like you shouldn't wake up and be like, you know what today I want to be an average realtor, you know, <laughs> it's okay. I don't want to be the best. I don't want to be, you know, just, yeah, I'll be meh today like i'll be okay <laughs> like i i don't think you should ever, ever and that's why I, like when i talk about video when i talk about live streaming when i talk about zoom anything that i talk about like we're 14 months into this pandemic that doesn't seem to freaking ever go away right they're like it'll be a month it'll be a few months it'll be a year and now it's still you know 2022 we might be normal who knows but it's like if you're not good at even like facilitating a zoom like what are you doing on a daily basis like you you should you should really go out and try to be the best that you can, right? We got oh we got Carrie Joe Little in the house from Illinois, Illinois. Look at um talk about learning things. She's from the Chicago area. She's not really Chicago, but um I didn't know that you're not supposed to say the S on Illinois until I we were doing a live stream together. I was like, yeah, I'm coming to Illinois really soon. He's like, that's how you know he's from New York. He said, he said the S. I'm like, how am I, how am I supposed to know? 
But S is silent, leave it off, right? I mean, my name is Jeremiah. <laughs> Jeremiah. They don't call me Jeremiah. The S isn't silent, but that's funny. Uh, so what what do you think for, for real estate agents? What what kind of packages are we gonna put to put together? Well, from what you know, working with um you and Sabrina Lauer, you know, yeah. it's uh I see that having some material, you know, as far as the things that you've done in the past, you know, that, that seems to help a lot, you know, so it's like, I'm able to take that or even some pictures and be able to put it together to show that, you know, you have this compilation of work that you've done. And, you know, so like, um, yeah. like B, like we would call it B roll sometimes, right? It's just, yes. Um, or, or just yeah. a compilation of like, maybe you in front of a house, you with clients, you, right. uh, showing a house or something like that. So if, if somebody who's watching this may want to work with you in the future, maybe they could start compiling that kind of stuff. Right. If you have, if you've got kids or grandkids, like, yo, I'm going to buy you lunch. Just follow me around today and use your phone that you're on constantly anyways, and take some video. Yeah. Right. 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 Just having that B roll to be able to, cause I mean, the, putting it together in this kind of montage compilation kind of way, you know, with some energy behind it, that, that kind of pumps people up while, while they're watching. It's like, Oh, look at all the stuff that they're, you know, into it. I mean, so yeah, just having, you know, and then again, coming from that background of like, what, what is the story that you're trying to tell, you know, as far as what you do. So yeah, definitely, you know, just having your content, you know, being able to bring that along into, and then knowing kind of what direction you want to pump up and promote for your, for your work, you know, that, that helps a lot. And let me say this, guys, if you're watching this, like, don't be concerned, like, don't hold back, right? Don't hold, like, if you in your heart, like, you're this crazy person, you let that shine through, right? When we were, like, meet with, Kwame didn't know me that well at first, and he's like, oh, you know, if you guys want to put together, I'm like, yo, what if I jump off out of the green screen, and then we do this, and he's like... I see it, saw his eyes light up like, okay, this isn't a normal person. And, and, and like creative, creative people, we love that. And, and I think some of you may be scared to show your true colors. Like don't hold back because your clients who really love you, love that about you. Right. Yeah. Right. Like and my clients, they, they watch my name and they go, man, you're crazy. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> right. Rather than like, this is how I first started in real estate. I'd have a shirt tie. Like, yeah, good morning, everybody. Jeremiah is here. Uh, I'm going to give you a market activity report because I thought like being professional meant to be serious, to be, you know, and, and I think those are also generational differences, right? Like our parents grew up like shirt tie, you know, you're very serious. Work is serious, but I don't, I don't think you have to be anymore. Oh. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that, that's like the most corporate place I've worked was um, Turner. And even there, like, you know, people who have toys all over their desks, you know, it's like they, they allow their, their personality to come out, you know, from what, what they're doing. So yeah, it's like being able to, yeah, of course, take yourself serious as far as what you're doing, but at the same time, letting your own personality come out, you know, and, and being able to laugh and being able to have that fun, you know, so, yeah, no, I, I I definitely feel the energy from you. Like when I first met you, I was like, oh, "Yeah, it's cool, man. He's driving in the snow. He's got the nice, he's got the sunroof. <laughs> you know, it's even real chill. You know." But then it's like I went to your YouTube page. It's like, ah, I'm like, whoa! <laughs> 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 like, well, you know, it was that that that, that, that was energy, so, that yeah, was no, J Man it, the dad. Like I was in the car with the kids and the wife. Like. <laughs> can't be too loud because if i get rowdy then the kids get rowdy you know what i mean like the True. the the, the oh, inmates yeah. match the warden if you will I'm like, <laughs> yeah that, that's funny let me uh, i'm going to share my screen i'm going to give them a couple examples from my my instagram just to show you guys uh here we go back to the shared screen Bow -bow. all right so here's here's the instagram this is this is why i was telling you about this the other day where i was flying in a in a video kwame okay oh yeah that's right Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Goodbye. And then we got Mark to sing. I touch the sky. I think about J-Man all the time. <laughs> What's so Mark song song. Yeah, that Mark's name? Yo, that was funny. That, that, so that's, <laughs> that's Marky wow. Lemon's route. She, so we have a, a, a monthly broadcast, Good Morning Real Estate, when you see that right in the middle. But every every month, it's like, man, what's the craziest thing that I can do? And it was superhero themed. So I'm like, I'm going to try to fly. And I got a green screen. And I'm like, okay, 
Uh, so I'm going to get a stool and I got extra fabric. I'm going to put the fabric over. And then, you know what? I am going to dress up like Superman because why, why the hell not? Right? Because <laughs> why, why the hell not? And then uh, that, that's the cool thing about the graphics is that you, yes, if you want to do it, I mean, you can figure out a way to visual effects and make it even look even cooler. Like you fly with the clouds behind you, you know, it's like anything you want to put in there, you know, can you can do that with the graphics? Four, three, two, one, level up, level up, level up, level up, level up, four, three, two, one, level up, 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 I didn't, you know, you can't hear what I'm saying, yeah. but, but that'll Did be. You just, yeah, you just said that to me. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> you know, it, it's funny. You know, when you, YouTube stuff. Yeah, when you create stuff. And it, yeah. you guys could check out there. I'm not going to go through my Instagram anymore than that. But um, think of how, you know, way you got to be a thumb stopper on social media, right? People are scrolling, they're scrolling, they're scrolling. And if it's the same old boring stuff, you right. know, you got to be a thumb stopper. And, and this, if you haven't seen this, um, Believe it, achieve it, become it. I want to tell these people out there, no days off. If you take a day off, it will lay you off. But if you don't take no days off, it will pay off. Yo, that, that kid is, a, if I can find him, I'm going to hire him for an event. I don't care what it costs. <laughs> just just because he's a kid that like probably for the last, for me it was like maybe three or four was doing push-ups. Yo, man, you got it. Man, you remember that video? It was like super viral. Um, but what I want to show you guys there, that's the the duet feature that Instagram has added is called remix now. So if you see a, another video that's popular or, you know, you can remix it, add on to it, whether you're, you're complimenting it or you're just reacting to the video. Uh, that's another way to stand out. And you can also, uh, when you go into the real section and this is, we're going to talk a lot about this in, in our, uh, Real Con 21, hashtag Real Con 21. That's that's Real Estate Atlanta Live Tech Conference, June 10th, baby, uh, all day. But uh, the real section, you can use audio from other people. So mm. let me see if I if I scroll down. I got and one example of that. There's a lot of stuff on here, obviously. Do 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 do. Oh, see, I, I think that's cool that you you include yourself in a lot of it too. So it's like you know that this is authentic, you know, material. It's not just like some, uh, yeah. not just DJing other Stock people's stuff. Hey, everybody. I'm just now. trying out this Insta Reel action because J Man Speaks said so. So if you don't know, now <laughs> you know. So that that's that's Bi Billy. You watch it. Billy Parrot from Billings, Montana. She was in she was in one of my classes and I'm like, you got to be doing this Instagram Reels. And she was like, OK, so she did a reel and I use her audio and created my own video from it uh, okay. you know so just, <laughs> just look at guys i'm not going to tell you to stand out from the crowd if i'm not trying to do my best every Definitely. single day um oh she's on <laughs> oh that's funny she is on um there she goes all right so we we try to keep it right around 30 minutes if you guys have any more questions for kwame uh put them in the comments now or you could always reach out to him uh through through the website, there's there's a chat feature, right? Or you're on the you're on the socials. I know that I uh, uh, many times I test people, and I, I'm like, let me send him a message on his his Facebook page. Let me see what the <laughs> deal really is. <laughs> and he'd immediately respond. I'm like, okay, checkbox. I'm like, okay, all right, all right. You know, because then I'll... Sabrina loves email. For me, it's like emails. <laughs> Worst way for contact. I'm like, okay, I'll send. It took me like 10 minutes to write that email I sent you this morning. I could have just did it in Facebook Messenger with a video to you guys. Like, no, nah, no, that's fine. All right. So uh, Leticia says, all right, thank you. Okay. Well, I'm not seeing any more questions. We're gonna I'm gonna go out with the A team. Let's see if I'm gonna bring Q this up. Boom, ba dum bum. You remember this? The AC room. My brother loves this show. Yeah. Somebody dies on it. <laughs> Blow up my helicopter and stuff walking out of it. Yeah. <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together, folks. This is